Hello everybody, welcome back to Daily Boost. I am Dr. Flo. I am the Chief Executive Partner of Love and Action Network, where we encourage, equip, and empower all humans to live their best lives and to live up to the highest ideal of who they can be on the planet. I'm gonna be sharing this out now with the network. And I did bring something to share today. Hello, Milton. You're loved and lovable. Tara will be stopping by. I'm going to pull my inspiration that I brought. Uh, the first uh, inspiration that I'd like to share is called Dry Bones. You didn't survive this for nothing. You didn't sacrifice it all for nothing. You didn't love this hard for nothing. You didn't carry your dry bones for nothing. You didn't take the risk for nothing. You didn't come this far for nothing. You didn't walk this road for nothing. It was never for nothing. None of it. The truth is, you may never see the reason, the results, the answer, the plan. You may never live to see the seeds that you planted grow into something beautiful. There's so much that you will never see fall fully into place. And yet somewhere I swear, whether today, in 10 years, or long after you're gone, a soul will find their way because of you. Ule K. I'll read this one more time. You didn't survive this for nothing. You didn't sacrifice it all for nothing. You didn't love this hard for nothing. You didn't carry your dry bones for nothing. You didn't take the risk for nothing. You didn't come this far for nothing. It was never for nothing. None of it. The truth is, you may never see the reason, the results, the answers, the plan. You may never live to see the seeds that you planted grow into something beautiful. There is so much that you will never see fall fully into place. And yet somewhere, I swear, whether today, in 10 years, or long after you are gone, a soul will find their way because of you. I love that. Get excited about life. If there are bridges you have yet to walk across, mountains you have yet to look up to, airports you have yet to touch base in, souls you've yet to encounter, oceans you've yet to be enveloped in, flowers you've yet to pick, songs you've yet to hear, then why would you ever think that what you have already experienced is all there is? Eight billion people in this world intend to meet more of them. Seven wonders of this world set out to reach them. Conversations in your mind, plan on speaking them. Be satisfied and grateful for what you have, but feel excitement for what else exists that you've yet to make contact with. This life is meant to be experienced to its fullest potential, and once you believe that, you'll build faith within you that one day, you will be across that potential. Hand to hand, face to face, heart to heart. We love being heart to heart, face to face, and hand to hand in our network. Uh, tonight, I, well, not tonight, I am Andre in the Flow. I'm Andre in the Flow every day. Dr. Flow, Chief Executive Partner of Love and Action Network, uh, an empowerment organization around mental health support and dream support. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Also, we have in the chat section, oh, who's coming up? The. And then we'll move into the wonderful melody, 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 unless she has some inspiration. Hello. Hello, I'm how are you? I'm not well lit. I'm okay. How are you? 
We are awakening. I feel like I was just watching some TikTok drama surrounding the word awakening. Yeah, yeah. I know it's it's important to have the most information so that you can experience full realization of the dream. I knowledge think. knowledge is power and I'm learning very, very quickly um, about my life as I'm sure you are as well, day by day. And as long as we get the lessons, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. Could you tell people who you are tonight and then we'll move into the BD unless you have some inspiration? I did find some inspiration, but I'm Tara Priolo. I'm your resident white-facing biracial multi-passionate musician. And I talk about the issues nobody wants to talk about, but she needs to be the same. You can find me on all platforms at Tara Priolo Studio. And my website is terrapriolo.com slash links, which you can get to through lovedandlovable.bio.link, lovedandlovable.bio.link, lovedandlovable.bio.linky poos. Okay. No, it is good. Um, so one of the accounts, uh, the BT Dubs folks, most of the accounts that I read from, actually all but one that I read from on this particular podcast slash newsletter are black people. This is a white human. Um, but um, it's called Inspired to Write, and I feel like a lot of artists share this account and quite like this account. So we're going to read a little bit from this account, and hopefully my child does not start screaming. Okay, let me have my arm. Thank you. Oh, thank you. You're, you're doing so good. All right, the typical business playbook doesn't work for artists. We need strategies that are as innovative as our creations. This stuck out to me because I've been asking for innovation on social media for like 14 years. Selling art is a different, more vulnerable, more delicate game than typical business. This isn't a brand. It's you, the artist. This isn't a product. It's a reflection of who you are. When you buy a creation, it is personal, sensitive, and intimate. And then there's an advertisement that I'm not going to read about because it's already passed. It was yesterday. But I thought that was a very nice take of a reminder that we don't have to sell like the big business corporations. We have to sell like artists. I think you're on mute, dear. Or at least I cannot hear you. We as artists bring a thank you kindly. Uh, we, we bring our own flair to the universe. And if we don't put ourselves into our work as we are, we'd be missing out on part of the fun. Agreed. Agreed. All right. Agreed. All right. I wanted to uh, sh uh, shut down, I guess, is what I'm trying to go for. Uh, last week's theme of be not afraid. Day seven, during a crisis, we need to remember that when we step up to the plate with God's grace, we will prevail. A higher power language there. During a crisis, we need to remember that when we step up to the plate with higher powers, grace, and help, we will prevail. The prayer that ended last week uh, is help me take reasonable steps to protect myself. Help, help me take reasonable steps to protect myself. Then, would you please do the rest. Help me to take reasonable steps to protect myself. Then, would you help me please do the rest? Did you want to introduce this week's uh, theme? No. It is. The Colors of a rainbow. No, it's not. It's just the colors. It's well, I think it's one word. I think it's colors. Week 34, folks. Do some math. There's only 52 weeks in a year. What are you going to do for the last quarter of the year, friends? I've got, friends? got to. I am strong. The mantra of the day is I am. I am strong and I must end strongly. Must, must end strongly. Same girl. Um, okay, I'll read until make a full life. It's kind of a shorter, a shorter guy. So we'll splitter. 
All right. Imagine a world in black and white. That, by the way, is a white supremacist tendency. It's called binary. We don't like that. So let me continue. Sorry. Imagine a world in black and white, maybe gray. Boring, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> this makes me think. Okay. So many side, side conversations. But in y'all, if you've not seen Halloween Town 2, don't listen to this part. But in Halloween Town 2, there, the, it's called the gray spell and they turn all of Halloween Town into normal humans instead of the creatures that they are born as and it is really sad and boring okay imagine a world in black and white maybe gray boring isn't it but some of us want our emotional lives to be like that a friend told me about a song he played in the car while driving with co-workers it was a song about the richness of life the high points marriage the birth of children and the low points death and loss and how good it all was one of the guys in the car wondered how could you possibly consider loss good my friends or no my friend said i tried to explain but i'm not sure he got it i understood all of our experiences are rich colors that make a full life have you ever cried so hard that you thought you would never stop? Have you ever laughed so hard you cried? Have you ever known someone you didn't want to live without, friend, lover, or relative? Have you ever been so, so forlorn you thought you'd never be happy again? And just when you're about to lose hope, or right after you did, your higher power came through? <laughs> Question mark. Have you ever felt so angry while driving? that when a street light went out, you thought your anger did it? Have you, ever, have you ever felt so angry you wanted to break something, stomp, or spit? Have you ever wanted something so badly like sobriety and been so afraid you couldn't have it? You were willing to go to any lengths to achieve success? It's important to feel our emotions, jealousy, desire, anger, love, despair, and the taboo feelings. I know feelings can be a pain in the neck. Feelings can make us feel ill. If you don't want to feel them, they don't go away. And it can take a while to figure out what to do with them after we notice they're there. Red with anger, green with envy, blue with sadness, the pink cloud of recovery. Go ahead, pick a color. This week's value uh, is all about colors. Please don't settle for only black and white. Vibrant, colorful, emotional health is the value of the week. And this, this hasn't come for me at a, a better time, folks, because I'm in a very nuanced living situation and living environment on the way to, to uh, officially launching this tour and being in my joyful bliss with my band and my creative arts programs and the true thing that I'm supposed to get to the world, which is not mitigating bullshit. Um, but it's important for me as I walk forward in all of these circumstances, causes, and conditions to see th things in the colorful as opposed to the binary. Because everything isn't one thing or another thing. There's probably many different stories. And in the midst of what I was experiencing today in my anger and my wanting for justice, it occurred to me that perhaps what I'm going through isn't really even about me. Maybe it ha maybe the whole thing has nothing to do with me and I'm just centering myself because it's one more thing to chew on and one more thing to worry about. And so um, red with anger, I felt that. Green with envy, I felt that in my life. Blue with sadness, I felt that. The, ple the, the peak cloud of recovery, I felt that. And um, I think that this will call me into, uh, you know, for what I'm releasing and for where I'm going, I need to dwell in the vibrancy of life. I think most of us, if we had to choose, as the text was saying, between black and white, even like gray, you know, like we wouldn't want to be in black and white and gray and graphite like all the time. 
There's something that's alive in my heart, yeah, alivened my heart today. Uh, alivened me and enlivened or alive to, I don't know, whatever. Uh, the yellow is just fun today. And it projected this, this air of greatness even into the Walmart. Uh, that I was stuck inside of for some time. Uh, can you tell us a time, Tara, in your life where you benefited from seeing things in colors as opposed to black and white and how that may have served you? Um, I like to talk about it as my 40,000 foot view of the world. I talk about this a lot. Um, but in particular, like no one, and and I will also bring up the, uh, the, uh, the uh, Gene Lee quote who probably got it from somewhere else but that that everybody deserves to eat i feel like i like to look at the world as n like nothing is inherently bad and nothing is inherently good everything is somewhere in the middle and everything has pieces of good and bad to it and so like when i look at the world from that perspective it becomes a lot more interesting of like oh that person's not just like a horrible human or you know it, okay so they're just having a bad day and I it sort of I think releases me in parts and holds me to the ground in other parts right um of just being able to see that like it isn't just black and white like there's so much in between that there's so much in between um joy <laughs> to use inside out. I, I should put that on the calendar this week. There's so much between joy and sadness, right? There's so, there's so many emotions and colors in between those two things. You know, sadness is blue, joy is yellow, even in the movie. And then there's anxiety, who's orange, but I haven't seen that one yet, so don't spoil it for me, y'all. So yeah, I um, I feel like I see the world often in not black and white. I feel like it's a requirement of my job as a releaser of entanglements you know you got some root chakra questions for us you're on mute still baby i do how do i take care of my physical body do i feel physically strong and energetic are there any physical issues or discomforts that need my attention? Do I, do I trust myself and others? How do I respond to fear and insecurity? What practices help me feel safe and secure? Is my living space a place of comfort and safety? How do I feel about my current home or living situation? What changes can I make to enhance the feelings of security in my environment? How do my relationships affect my sense of security? Do I, I have healthy boundaries in place to protect my well-being? How do I, do I balance my needs with the needs of others? These days, um, I'm finding it helpful to self-care in a way that hopefully as life happens, I can meet it as balanced as possible. You know? Yeah. You said it earlier today. You're like, we're all just doing the best. Right. We're all just doing our best, our, our personal best to get through life. Um, dancing through life. <laughs> uh, name that musical in the comments. Don't you, don't you say that. Don't you say it, Flo. Um, the one that keeps standing out to me, what was the one about change? Uh, uh, about change. Yeah. Oh, there is a question about change. Excuse me. Um. Ch 
change? What changes can I make to enhance the feeling of security in my environment? Yeah. Um, and then there was a boundary question right after that. And I think this is a very interesting thing. How do my relationships affect my sense of security? Yeah. Yeah. And I think that goes back to like the colors, like every relationship has different, like it has all of the colors within it. And how do you, uh, you know, balance and tackle all of those things. And then as far as like changing, you know, we read something the other day about how um, essentially change has to be incremental. Um, even though, even if it feels like it's not incremental, even though it feels like sometimes it's earth shattering to you, to someone else that change is incremental. Um, and I think that's really important to remember when we're talking about like changes in terms of security, um, and just re even relationship wise, uh, and building boundaries and just knowing that other people aren't going to respond exactly how we may expect them to, you know? Yeah interesting and that can be okay as long as you know who you are which right. brings back to the exactly. mantra of the day it's like knowing who you are and knowing what you stand for and knowing what you will take and what you won't take and what you will allow what you won't allow is very very important along the path uh, because right. if you don't if you don't establish your boundaries and your sense of presence someone else will do that for you mm -hmm. or perhaps not give you any room at all that part gotta be strong in who you are yeah yeah, yeah. Well, thanks everybody for coming to the boost. We hope that you enjoyed it. I am Dr. Flo, Andre and the Flo across all platforms, looking to build out our academy, Love and Lovable Academy. If you're looking for performance coaching, life coaching, dream coaching, and if you're also looking. Can we please start putting first, as I business talk across the room, can we please start putting first, uh, if you would like to book Dr. Flo for a gig, uh, including or not including the love experience, bring him in to sing a couple songs at your happy hour child. If you got a restaurant locally in, in North Carolina, if you've got, uh, you know, a coffee shop in wherever you are that has some funds, if you've got a theater that is maybe sitting empty, book Dr. Flo for a show, for a gig. And then auditions are open and applications are open for the Academy. Yes. And what are you working on? <laughs> I am working on uh, uh, building up liberation conversations. Uh, we had some great joy in there uh, this week. I asked the simple question. Uh, but kind of back to this, like, you know, all of life is simple. It's just sometimes not easy. Like the simplest things are not the easiest to do. And so I asked the really simple question of what was joyful about your week? And one of our people in there uh, answered, and it was just such a love, lovely answer, like from a teacher that had some great success this week um, with a student. And that's, ah, oh, ah. Oh. So Liberation Conversations over on Telegram, you can join that. You can uh, join the Lift Every Voice Upstack, which hopefully will have something there next week. And uh, you could also, if you are interested, uh, talk to me about voice lessons and freeing your voice, but there's very limited slots. I thought there was going to be more, but there's not. So get on it if you feel like it. Okay, is that all? Oh, all. the schedule this week. I will be doing Boost Monday through Wednesday. Dr. Flo will be here Thursday through Saturday because I am going to the state fair. And that is more important than you people. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but the state fair and my eating and my nails and my family are more important than you, plebeians. All right, continue to be anti-racist. Be safe, wear a mask, make good trouble, do good work. Just because I just said that doesn't make you not loved and lovable. You're still loved and lovable. It just means that I need to love and lovable my people first so I can fill my cup into overflow and be with you. Joy is the revolution. Join us next time. <gasps> Toodles!